Now I'd like to show you a little demonstration of Logo Smarts. Let's create a logo now using Logo Smarts. To begin with, let's just click on Logo Smarts. And as it loads up, this is what you'll see when Logo Smarts opens up. What it's first going to show us are the templates that we can use to create logos. Now, we can either um, use these templates or we can start a new logo with just a blank page. But let's go ahead and use the templates. Let's make it easy. Now, you notice that we have 12 pages of templates. Let's just look at some of them. And you can see that you have quite a variety available. Now, I'm not going to take the time to scroll through all of them, but keep in mind that you can modify them greatly. But if you start out with a template, which is what I usually do, it makes it so much easier. Let's say we are going to do a template for a men's ministry, and I like just the strong image here, so let's click on this. This then opens up your desktop for Logo Smarts. Let's go ahead and let it fill the screen. Now, this is just a starting point. You can do all kinds of things with the template. You can move around the images. You can move around the text. Let's first start out with our image. Now, it's OK. It's kind of plain, but let's see what we can do with it. Let's. Um, First of all, let's do something to change the color. I'm not that thrilled about the red. I might want to try perhaps a gold. And to uh, select a color, you would just go in here. And you can just look at any of the different colors. Well, that's kind of a nice gold color. Let's do that. Now, we might want to do something more with it instead of just leaving it a flat image. So let's go up here to Bevel, click on that. Click on Bevel Needed, and let's also do Inner Bevel. Now, um, I, let's just see what happens. And to be perfectly honest, I just play around with different things. Let's increase the highlight opacity, and let's increase the bevel size. I mean, if we're going to do something, let's do something a little bit more with it. Click OK. And oh my, look at that. It added quite a bit of depth to it. Now, I like that, but uh, maybe I want to make it just a little bit smaller. Now, to change the size. You can either go up, you can go down, click OK. Alrighty, I just like that better. Now, we might still think, well, that's a little bit bland. Um, we are going to be adding text to it, but maybe we want to do something else just to jazz it up a little bit more. You also add additional objects to your logo. Now, to do that, you would um, click on where it says Add Symbol. Now, it'll then this little thing will pop up that says, select a logo symbol from the Symbols panel. Now, over here is your Symbols panel. And you can see there's just lots and lots of different symbols. Now, we don't only have to do the ones in this category. But if you just want basic symbols to, to work with, what you want to go down to is you want to go down to where it says Graphics. And let's add a square. So we click on the square. Click on Add Symbol, and here we have a square. Now, let's take the square. Hmm, give us two squares. I have no idea why I did that. Let's get rid of one of them. OK, we have a square. Now, what I want is I want to make this as big as the square below it. So again, we click on our Object Modification thing. And now, it's kind of neat because you can actually move this around. And so let's just go ahead, make it a little bit bigger. And then now to see, and then click OK. Now to see exactly how that fits, wow, you can do that. Isn't that nice? You see right there, you've got, um, you, you've just changed it and really added something to your logo. Now, I personally really like black and gold, but you know this is for a men's ministry. And so how about if we made it? If we made it blue, we could either make um, that part blue or, no, let's see. Let's go back. Let's leave that gold. What about if we change the square? Let's try that. And that ooh, I like that. That looks like a, an image for a men's ministry. Now, we also want to change. Let me just center that a little bit better. We want to change, of course, what it says. Fix it isn't a, a very good um, title for a men's ministry. So what you do to change the text, they have the text down in a little bar down here, is let's, uh, let's come up with a name for a men's ministry. How about if we called it under 
and then let's call it under construction. That's kind of a fun name for a men's ministry. Now, to add text blocks, it's a little bit strange how LogoSmarts does it. What you do is you click on a little the little T, and that means you add text. Now, this is what comes up. Now, what you need to do, though, to know what text it is, you have to click back on your previous text, go under Text Effects, and we see that this particular text is Archery Black Rounded. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so um, I want the words construction, C-O-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-I-O-N. Okay, but I want it in this typeface, so I go under text to A, archery black rounded. Now I'm going to want that to be larger. Let's go ahead and make that, say, you can either click on the slider or you can click on that, let's say 52 points. Okay, under construction. And we can put that like so. I think I want that a little bit larger yet. Let's go ahead and make it up to 60 points. This is, that's uh, the largest that it will go. Okay, now let's see how it looks in blue. We just click on it. Click on it. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, and that's that's really all there is to it to create our basic logo. Now we want people to know that it uh, has something to do with the church. So what if we took that lettering and just said men's ministry at first church. And let's make it a little bit smaller so it would fit nicely under there. Let's just go ahead and we can kind of keep an eye on it. Let's just let it be about, ooh, that looks great. That's as, oh. We could put it here, we could put it there. Oh, let's see, what do we like? Oh, let's put it here. And actually, I didn't have it, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger now. Just to make it go all the way to the end of, oh, goodness gracious, I'm having a hard time. Let, let me do this again. Let's go ahead and great. Okay, now I'm not that crazy about it being Red, so let's see, we can either make it gold, and yeah, that looks kind of nice. Yeah, men's ministry at First Church. Okay, and that's all there is to it.